so you still have a group of 30 to 40 people who you are most interested in who who are might be sort of taken in by this that's right and the prime minister talked about that group um last year uh um uh, shortly after the election uh, since that time that in, that number has increased um somewhat but it's still within that uh it's still within that 30 to 40 number what sorts of things might they be involved well, it's a it's a range of it's a range of um, activities. Sometimes it's inciting uh, radicalism or encouraging radicalism. With others, uh, there is there are people who want to uh, fund or facilitate uh, travel, foreign fighters to travel, uh, and to fight in the Middle East. We have uh, people who are interested in planning attacks in New Zealand uh, and who are actively. Um, endeavouring to do that, uh, who are clearly of concern to us, and there is also a group of um, of individuals who have already travelled to the Middle East and who are fighting alongside IS or other um, or Al Qaeda in in the Middle East. I mean, if you, if there are people who are thinking about planning attacks in New Zealand, I mean, should the public be concerned? Should they be taking extra care out or what? Um, no, I, I honestly, this is a very, very small number of people and I'm sure people can go about their daily lives and ought to be able to go about their daily lives without worrying about this kind of thing because that's the whole point of it is that we worry about it so that other people don't have to worry about it. Um, and uh, as I say, it's a, it's a very small number of people and I wouldn't want to create an impression that it's a, that it's a widespread thing. But nonetheless, what we see is uh, people who are of concern to us in a number of different centres around New Zealand, it's not located in, in, in one particular uh, in, in one particular regional area. It's, it's um, there is an increase in this kind of extremist thinking and rhetoric in a, in a range of different places around the country. And some critics say that the threat around the Western world has been exaggerated. You wouldn't accept that. Well, I can't speak for anywhere else other than New Zealand. What I can say here is that the information that we've provided both publicly and to ministers is based on evidence that we have, that, that I have seen. Um, uh, those numbers that we've talked, that have been spoken of publicly, there is, a, there is an individual and a person underneath each one of those numbers. Um, uh, and information that I think would be, any New Zealander that looked at it would be concerned and would expect us to be interested in those people and to be preventing them from, um, from doing any action that would both be harmful to the country and would create a terrible backlash for the, you know, for the, for the communities that they come from. I mean, I think that's one of the, that would be one of the worst outcomes of all for this country.